My first internship was actually with EMI Records. I was in Iowa, at University of Iowa. I t Greyhound had a, 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 a Greyhound had a, a special sixty nine dollars anywhere in the country, and I was delivering barbecue, right? And my, the place I delivered barbecue went out of business, so I was about to get thirteen weeks of unemployment, <laughs> and I wanted to do internships, but I couldn't afford it, right? Because it's like unpaid, and then I'm I, Iowa City, so. Also, I'm about to get 13 weeks of unemployment. And I mean, that means I can pay my car payment in Iowa and go to New York where my cousin lived. My cousin lived on 97th between Park and Madison before that was like Upper East Side. So I was, I was still with Spanish Harlem at that time. Mm -hmm. like in Puerto Rican day, day prayed you knew it was Spanish Harlem. You know what I mean? So at that time, the, now it's just like Upper East Side. So what happens, it feels like Upper East Side at least. So what happens is, so I took a bus, I came to New York, I made 800 cold calls. And, and it was actually frat. On, no, we're both sigmas. We're both sigmas. It was actually frat stop, stop who looked there, out for stop me. Stop there for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I grip you? Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Hey, whatever, yeah, yeah. Whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see this one. 580 sigma in the house? Yeah. So what happened was this. I come to New York. I made The reason I know I made 800 cold calls is because my cousin got the bill. At the time, there was a company called 9X. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And 9X, she was like, yo, who made the 800 of these local calls? I was like, oh, I didn't know you get charged per call. Because <laughs> in Iowa, you didn't get, you got a flat fee, it was US West. We didn't have 9X there. And they were like, so that's how I know I've made 800 cold calls. And I, uh, Frat, um, there's a, a few, because I didn't have, I didn't know anyone out here. A few helped me out. Anthony Baini Amisa was mm -hmm. one. He was at Polygram Records. Uh, Charles Austin, uh, who had uh, worked with Theo Settlemeyer. Uh, and I ended up getting something at EMI Records, but EMI went out of business like two or three weeks in. Can, can I interject for one yeah. second? You made 800 cold calls. Yeah. So I was just in an attempt to get an internship. An internship? Yeah. Well, I had gone all the way from Iowa and paid 69 bucks. If, if, if you, know you are mean? watching this video or if you are in this room and you think you're doing something oh. by making 20 calls or no, uh, uh, no, like walking to Junior's Cheesecake for a record deal, you are doing nothing. This is what it takes to become successful. Uh, to get, no, to get an unpaid internship. <laughs> Forget about successful. Then get unpaid. So what happened was this. So I go, I come to New York. I'm staying at my cousin's house. She was helping me go to Kinko's resume paper. We even showed up to Sony Music. I even show, the irony is we even showed up to MTV. But it was naive and ineffective. But like it's almost like like those DMs, like people just DMing. Well, like I just showed up, the security guard. I didn't know they were gonna have security guards. Like, no, you can't. You know what I mean? And I even remember one woman uh, helped me like try to get an internship, not internship, a temp application. What happened was um, EMI Records, but then also they go out of business. Tony Ward, I was international marketing, and then uh, Theo Settlemeyer, mm -hmm. right? Who was just starting out. And he, Charlie Austin had worked with them, and Charlie, who was from uh, Penn, from Philadelphia, and he said, so Theo said, you can come. Theo was just starting, brand new, him and Randy Cutler. I go intern for them, because I told my parents I was gonna be an entertainment lawyer, because that's how, they were like, okay, you can't do this entertainment industry, hip hop stuff. I said, but I'll be an entertainment lawyer. Oh, lawyer, okay. Because <laughs> you have to remember, immigrant parents, they sacrificed a lot. They don't want to see you throwing away their sacrifices for some pipe dream. You see what I'm saying? Like that's just anyone who has immigrant parents knows how t the kind of social pressure inside the household and the, the, and the lack of understanding that this is actually a way of making money and it's not like just for fun. That it's a real job. So I said, lawyer. I said, okay. So ended up getting with Theo, and this is 1997, a year before Eminem, because Theo ended up becoming Eminem's lawyer. And then now he's like Drake's lawyer, he's like Correct. DJ Khaled's mm -hmm. lawyer, he's Post Malone's lawyer, Kodak Black's lawyer, the, uh, so many people. Like, you, you, you know, you, there's just so many people to mention that he, but that was before, that was a year before he got his first big client. And then that time, you know who his clients were? Who? At the time. At the time, and he, uh, fr like Frankie uh, Cutlass, Frankie Cutlass, Dance. Puerto Rico. Yep. No, yep. Was yep. it Frankie yep. Knuckles? Yep. Was it Puerto Rico? Oh, those are that guy. That's Cutlass. That Cutlass, Frankie That's Cutlass. Frank. It was uh, um, uh, DV alias Christ, like Trigger the Gambler, Smooth but, but, the Hustler. But, uh, that's Brooklyn. Uh, Craig G. 
Craig G. But, that, but, but here's the point, yeah. which I think is a very important point. You don't, uh, and, and, I, and I spoke about this before Tune walked in, and for anybody who's watching this on video, everybody wants to become friends with the person on top. Everybody wants to become person with the friends with the person who's already established and popping. Listen to a story. At the time yep. that you were yep. making these inroads and you haven't, these were your peers. These were yeah. people who were starting out on their journey. So it's so important. Stop worrying about the people who are already established. The people who are going to really help you in your career and come up with you are the ones who are sitting right next to you right now. Those are the ones you should be establishing relationships with. And What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.